Hey Haveran, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-mission.com. Today in this video, we'll talk about how you can handle SSL certificate errors in Playwright. Now, you might come across many scenarios where you have certain web applications that you're trying to automate, but the certificate got expired. For example, the moment you try to access any secure application, you will find they have a secure connection. And the moment you open the secure connection, you will find the certificate is valid. Right? But the moment you start working with internal application or some application where the certificate is not valid, it could be the wrong host, it could be the self-signed issue, untrusted root, revoke, or it could be the expired one. For example, if I show you this expired one, the moment you try to open this application, Chrome does not allow, okay? It will say this application is not secure. And if you click on this, you'll find the connection to this site is not secure. And if you click on certificate details, you'll find the certificate got expired in 2015, right? Now in such cases, you have to manually say, click on advance and then you say, okay, proceed to this particular web application. It gives you warning that it is unsafe, but the moment you click on it, Chrome will consider and it will give you this, okay? I know it's very weird, but this is what the application is supposed to do. It's a sample application which shows that if you handle the certificate, this is what the UI you will get. Now by default, the moment you try to open this application, and if you don't set any settings, Playwright will not allow you to execute your test. Let me show you one with practical. So in our previous sessions, we have seen that in order to start a browser, we use playwright.create.chromium. We are launching a Chrome browser, basically a Chromium engine for Chrome browser. And then we are saying set headless to false. And we are creating a new page. Now to show you this, if I say page.navigate, and if I try to open this, let's see what happens. The moment I execute this, it is going to start Chromium. And you see the same issue. It says the connection is not private. Plus the moment I click on advance, I have to manually go. And the moment you say the exception log, it says playwright exception. Error says error certificate date invalid. And obviously, you cannot run your test. Now, how we can allow Playwright that we accept this risk and I still want to continue, how we can ignore this SSL certificate issue. Again, you take any example, whether it's an expired one, whether it's a wrong host, or it could be any one of the category. This is how you can handle the insecure certificate in Playwright. Now, in order to do this, you need to create one object of a new class, which is called new context option. So if I type new, so we have one interface, right? Browser interface. So if I use this interface, you will find one new class called new context options. Now we're going to create object of this particular class. And if you want to see, just click on it and you will see it's a predefined class. And it is wrapped under a browser interface. That's the reason we are saying browser dot new context option. Now, obviously, the moment we create object, you will get the object of new context option. So I will just store this new context option. And I will say context. Context option. Okay. Now, once you create object, just type context options dot. And now you can see we have so many methods which we can call, right? For example, even if you want to go through proxy, you can set the proxy, you can set the geolocation, you can give the client certificate. So many options are available when you go with new context options class. Now you have to look for a method called set ignore. Can you see this? By default, it is set to false. Whether to ignore HTTPS error while sending the network request, by default, it is set to false. That's the reason it is not aligned. So we are going to call this method and we will change this value from false to true. So this is one new context option that we created. Now we need to tell that please use this new context option object, which is context option. So far, how we have done, we are using this browser reference and then we're saying new page. Now in order to use this context option, you have to create the browser context. So just type browser browser context you can see we have a dedicated interface right 
I will say context and now I will use this browser and we're going to basically create a new context browser dot new context and instead of creating page directly I will be using this context dot new page so this is my bad it's not content it's actually context so this sounds similar so context dot new page instead of saying browser dot new page what we did we created object of new context options class we set this property basically a method from false to true we are creating a new context and from that context we are creating this page but what about this in this new context you have to pass this object that's all you cannot directly pass so you have created a browser context and we are passing in the method now if you run this right click run as your application now you will see it will ignore that errors and you can see the main page expired bad ssl.com and if i set this to false you will see the same behavior so if i execute one more time see, this time it will not allow and you will be getting one exception so that's very straightforward now i totally understand that just to enable one we are doing a lot of code right but don't worry moving forward once we create the browser factory this will is the reusable code so no need to set this again and again it says browser factory create a method and every time you want to change certain properties we will go and change that method your page will not change the sorry when i say page i mean, I mean page object model right so don't worry about this we will again refactor this in the upcoming classes so yeah that's all about this video i hope you found it useful if you have any other issue in playwright let me know in the comment section and if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care